Hello everyone. My name is Sumit and I welcome all of you to BISP Self Learning Video Broadcast Solution. Today I am going to work on a very interesting topic in Dynamics CRM and that is how to add Facebook profile image on a form using script or using a JavaScript. So what I would like to tell you is let's suppose this is my contact form and in contact we are going to create new contacts and in every contact I would like to associate one their Facebook profile Facebook profile URL and whenever they enter their Facebook profile URL I would like to display their Facebook profile image on the form so as you can see here in this example that's the contact within sales in dynamic CRM we have sales in sales we have contacts in contact there is a sample contact Maria Campbell and in this I have created a Facebook batch basically it's a Facebook batch it's a Facebook section in this Facebook section I have created a Facebook URL and a user will enter the Facebook URL his own Facebook profile URL and as soon as he saved it and reload the page it will display the Facebook profile image on the form so many times it requires that we would like to get their the our contacts or our users their uh, their Facebook profiles images to be displayed on the form so this we can achieve using JavaScript in dynamic CRM so I will be going to tell you about JavaScript code what code to be right so, but before that what we have to do is we have to create a new Facebook badge because this badge will not be available within a contact form it's a it's a customized badge so we have to customize it we have to add it explicitly and later on we'll be going to add a JavaScript code for display or to display this Facebook profile image so for this first of all you have to log in into dynamic CRM so as I have already logged in and we have to go through various steps and then only after that we will be able to get the Facebook profile image on our form so my requirement is that I would like to display the Facebook profile image on the contact form whenever a new record is created we'll let user to enter his Facebook profile and when he saved it and next time whenever he logged in again and open a contact so we will be able to see his Facebook profile picture on the contact form so for this first first step what we need to do is we need to create a new solution so how to create a solution click on this dynamic CRM icon on the top left click on settings within settings look for solution so I already clicked on solution and here either you can use any existing solution or you can create a new solution as well so for this scenario I am going to create a new solution so I click on new and I give a name to that solution so I give a name BISP solution publisher the default publisher I look for default publisher and the version I'm using is 6.0.1 any version and simply save it now within this solution we have to add entities and web resources so I scroll down to web resources so I look for web resource click on web resources so as you can see here in this solution right now there are no web resources so we have to add a web resource so I click on new and I'm going to add two new web resource first is that whenever a form is load if the Facebook URL is not defined by a user then it will display a default picture or default image in that over here in this image box or in this web resource so it will display the default image means if the URL is not provided by a user then this this will display the default image so what default image I would like to show or you would like to display that we have to add it so I first of all I give a name to this so I give a name Facebook and profile Facebook profile type is the P 
PNG format. So we would like to add a PNG format. So browse for the file. So I already downloaded one PNG formatted file. So I simply use that. So small icons and medium icons. Look for the file. Look for the image. Let's say this. I go with this. This is a PNG formatted file, and save it. If this will not be a PNG formatted file or not a proper format file, it will throw an error message. So it's this name already exists actually. So we'll go with. I'll change the name Facebook profile one, and save it. It is empty because the file is not selected now. So again we select the file, and. It's coming original. Save it. So once it is done, I close this because we need to create one more web resource. In that web resource, we will be going to write the JavaScript code. But that script code we'll do later on. First of all, let let's add the entity into this solution. So I click on entities, and uh, I need to add the existing entity. I'm not going to create a new entity. So I click on add existing, and look for existing entity contact because we will be going to add the facebook badge on the contact form so look for contact okay we'll get this message so it will include all its associated required components so simply click on okay and the entity will be add into this solution then expand this entity contact click on forms because now we will be going to customize the form we will be going to add the uh, facebook badge and a uh, facebook url text field and the web resource where we will be going to display the profile image so i customize this main form so look for main form this is a mobile form this is a main form so i'll click on the main form and we will be going to customize it So as you can see here there is no section for that so we need to add a section so I click on insert and add a one column or two column section as requirement so I need one column section so I click on one column section and that section has been placed just after this main section or summary section so first of all I select this and change the properties so that's the label that's the name I'm not going to change that name I'm going to change the label so I write Facebook batch and show the label expand this tab and visible by default formatting if you want to set change the formatting to two columns three columns we can set it from here okay in this Facebook batch section we will be going to add a URL so that user will be able to enter the URL Facebook URL so I create a new field give a name Facebook URL and the data type is single format will be URL formatted save so if it already exists because in this I have means the field is already exists that's why it is showing an error so you can check it and you can delete it from there if it is already exist if it is not exist you can create a new one so let's go and check if it is already exist or not so I simply close it and look for the custom fields custom fields so you can see it is already exist here Facebook URL so I simply drag and drop it on onto the section next in this section in the same section we need to add a web resource so I click on insert and add a web resource web resource and we are looking for the web resource which we created just now Facebook profile one this Facebook profile one and we give a name to this web resource so I give a name Facebook profile Facebook profile image that's the name and uh, I don't want to display label on the form formatting is number of rows let's say seven and uh, center okay check the settings so you can see the the web resource has been added and now whenever a user enter the Facebook URL and save the form and next time when it logged in the the image will be displayed over here so we save it we save this and 
don't forget to write down their names because we need to use their names in a JavaScript code. So the name of this is web resource underscore Facebook profile image. That's the name of this web resource which will be going to display the image. And the name of this Facebook URL is the details. It will be new underscore Facebook URL. new underscore Facebook URL. Okay. Uh, save it. Once again save this and publish it. So once it is published, now we will be going to write a JavaScript code for displaying the image or the profile image on into this web resource. So once it is published successfully, save and close. Now again open web resource and now let's create a new web resource here. So we already have got one web resource Facebook profile one so I click on new to create a new web resource and uh, the name of the new uh, I give a name to this web resource is JS Facebook profile JS Facebook profile type I script and the script I have already written that's the script so that's the script which we'll be going to use so I created a function a JavaScript function profile picture on form load then I extract the data from there the variable I created a new variable where profile picture element and it will extract the it will assign to this profile pitch Facebook profile image the web resource which we created just now it will extract the image if the if there is no image it will throw an error it will not throw any error message it will simply return it then we extracted the URL what is the URL because as I told you that we need to extract the Facebook URL and based on that Facebook URL we need to display the profile image so I extract the Facebook URL and store into this Facebook attribute then if this is not blank then in I create a new variable profile URL and Facebook attribute dot get value so Facebook attribute so basically this Facebook attribute dot get value it will get the value and it will store it and you can see here this get profile picture URL we are using this profile picture URL get profile picture URL this is again a new function and in this function there is a parameter profile URL so the profile URL which we stored here is we passed into this get profile picture URL and in this picture we extract it and then we create a proper URL and return back to this profile picture URL and then we assign this same profile picture URL to this our web resource which we have created so that's the web that's the coding or that's the JavaScript code so I'll copy this JavaScript code and paste it into our I open text editor and simply paste it. So either you can paste it directly or you can upload the file as well. Yes. Or you can upload as well. So once che check once again. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Save it. So if it throws an error message, so I will suggest you to save this. So I save it on my desktop. It is already on my desktop Facebook. So I use, I just upload it instead of text editor. Yes. Browse. So it's in English language and uh, Facebook JavaScript. Open it and it's uploaded. Save it. Already exist. So let's change the name. No issues. Facebook profile. And again, we need to upload it and save it. So once it is done, I publish this. One more step is left that on the form load event, we need to call the function 
we need we need to call this function profile picture on form load function we need to call on the form load event of contact so for this i close this and again open solution again expand entities contacts form and on form main form open the exp again open it and now we need to go to the form property page and on form property page under the event section we'll be going to add the web resource first and then call that function so i look for form properties then add the java the web resource which we created just now so i look for new and web resource profile facebook profile 1 that was the web resource which we created just now and on form load we need to call that function so it will it is in this java js facebook profile and what's the name of the function the name of the function is profile picture on form load so i copy and paste it here and okay okay save and publish done work is done it might possible that when you done with all the steps and when you try to up, uh, when you try to give a url in internet explorer so it will not work so i will suggest you to open the open your file or open your dynamic crm on your chrome or in any other browser because there it will work successfully so i'll show you how to do it so as you can see here this is already done with i have already done over here and now if i change it for example instead of benioff if i give something else for example if i give uh, salesforce so and save it if we click on this it will open facebook directly you can see it will open the sales it will we can check it whether this page exists or not so that's the page that's the page and uh, we again open it maria campbell that's the url and here you can see the salesforce profile images coming and even if if i give my profile name for example if i give any other name let's say i give dot 35175 that's the url of my profile if i save it and if i click on this first of all we can check yeah it exists and now if we x and again we open the click on the contact expand it and we can see the profile images displayed over here so like this we can display or we can add a profile image or facebook profile image on form or on a contact or on a form or in within a contact or in a on an accounts or uh, any other entity by using javascript code so that's all in this video if you have any issues if you have any queries you can visit our website www.bispsolutions.com or you can subscribe our youtube channel for more interesting videos till then have a nice day goodbye